finally march third week tomatoes week so i will be sowing a lot of tomatoes seeds this week you can see behind me there is a, a, a you know tray you can see there see up there uh, lots of tomatoes they are already almost 2 feet height and they actually sown in january the three varieties i shown in january basically to give them a kick start and also i would like to try different things uh, this year so one of them is uh, sun gold cherry tomatoes really tasty one i would recommend anybody to try that and second is gourmande that's a south italian variety it's a very big tomato and very good for cooking and the other two which i sowed in january is one is marmande this is a usual variety and tomande that's something which i never heard i tried there are the big ones so these tomatoes in i think first week of april they go in a ground in a greenhouse so they don't go out so that's why i am trying them from january so i give them the enough time to settle down before they go in a ground coming back to the third week of march and uh, the list of things i would like to so is a huge and before i give you what i'm going to sow i would like to mention few things about tomatoes i did mention this in my previous week's video regarding the sowings and i categorize my tomatoes in different you know categories number one cherry tomatoes number two plum tomatoes number three cooking tomatoes so cherry tomatoes is just for the you know normal eating we don't cook them you just pick them and eat them very good for the salads and lunch boxes and plum tomatoes is same but they are different uh, 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 shape and they're very tasty as well and the cooking tomatoes are huge ones big massive tomatoes sometimes the plant cannot hold the weight of the tomatoes that's you know how the big they are and um, the other two one is a blight resistant tomato variety generally when you grow the tomatoes outside and also the potatoes they get a blight it's a disease this disease basically uh, uh, you know uh, attack because of the weather fluctuations very frequently generally it, it, it comes around August uh, or maybe in September so I got few varieties blight resistant tomatoes so they don't get that blight that's why I basically put them outside the another variety is a hanging basket variety I would like to grow, you know grow some of the varieties in hanging baskets that's why cherry tomatoes plum tomatoes and cooking tomatoes baskets and uh, are blight resistant tomatoes so first category is a, a, a list of cherry tomatoes this is the one this is cherry and blight resistant so that means it goes outdoor and the next one is i never tried this before sweet million many people recommended this and i would like to try this this is also cherry tomato and the third variety is divinity so this is also a cherry tomato and this is also a blight resistant tomato you can see the label and this is in between cherry and plum tomato is very tasty you get hell lot of uh, uh, you know uh, uh, crop from this small little plant i tried this last three years and it was very huge success for me and i recommend anybody to sow this this is ildi and another plum tomato is artesian mix you get as the image suggests you get different multicolored uh, tomatoes for the same plant surprising and this is a really tasty one and another cherry tomato variety i do is a black russian i had a uh, uh, what do you say 
second prize for this three years back in the horticulture association uh, competition and uh, this one is a really good one to have in your collection the tomatoes uh, you know the color looks like a black brownish color and they're really tasty one and coming back to other normal tomatoes compared to the big tomatoes and this is another one which i am trying this year i never tried this before and i recommend this elsa craig they call elsa craig and we got uh, uh, onions also with the same name and i tried this in the past i'll count it this is really nice uh, equal shape they all come in equal it's so good for the exhibitions like a competitions you know i'll count it and nimbus this is a really tasty one i would love to you know basically grow again and again if i got a chance to do that and i've been doing this last four years and i'm very happy with it and the other one this is also like a nimbus ferlin and uh, you get a very juicy tomatoes so i would recommend this as well and snacking tomato this is actually comes under cherry and gold crown this is uh, almost like a sun gold but slight different taste sun gold you cannot compare with anyone you know i strongly recommend the sun gold as well as this one and coming back to the big massive tomatoes like a huge sometimes it goes to you know uh, uh, a quarter kilo sometimes you know close to half a kilo the plant cannot hold those weight so i generally uh, i use supports to hold the tomatoes can you see this this is a uh, 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 it's a kind of marmande but it's a italian variety so this one is a beef stick tomato buffalo stick or beef stick or whatever the same family but it's italian variety slight uh, 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 pink and dark red and yellow stripes at the top and i have a similar variety but uh, i would like to try this one as well and it, when it comes to the uh, the yellow color tomato and ananas i tried this uh, two years back i really liked it because i had very less seeds i couldn't uh, uh, preserve the seeds that's why i didn't try last year now i am basically trying it again and some of the uh, seeds i basically harvested from the uh, uh, allotment i don't have the pictures probably i should uh, 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 so this is the uh, uh, big pink italian variety really big uh, you know close to quarter kilo cage uh, you know tomato uh, i would recommend this i managed to save i think maybe uh, 10 or 15 seeds uh, uh, from my neighbor uh, 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 allotment greenhouse uh, he is happy to give me one uh, you know uh, tomato from that I managed to save that and another one is um, uh, in Marmande variety this is slightly different uh, it's also Italian variety so that's why I'm trying this as well last but not least uh, something called Italian Roma uh, you know it's like a, 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 a plum tomato but very big you know uh, it goes I, I would say uh, uh, three and a half to five inches long and a big one Roma so these are the varieties uh, I'm sewing uh, this week and uh, most of them I saw uh, three seeds I only want one and uh, sometimes you know I get three sometimes I get two sometimes I get one sometimes I don't even get any one but last four years based on my experience most of the times I get three out of three or two out of three that's my experience I would say 100% germination for 98% of the seeds I grow because I use a bit of uh, heat mat uh, uh, and also I use uh, lids on top of it so that makes a difference and uh, these tomato seedlings will be ready 
by end of May or first week of June to go on the ground. So meantime, it's a big task to uh, uh, protect them in such a way that they are well looked after in terms of giving them a balanced organic fertilizer when they have a second set of true leaves. That means when they grow like a four to uh, three to four inches around and when you see the second set of true leaves then I generally give organic uh, a fertilizer well balanced like 777 like a grow more is an example but grow more is not organic in terms of NPK uh, uh, example nitrogen phosphorus and potassium so basic contents for the plant to grow so I basically uh, uh, give them uh, balanced fertilizer one fourth of the strength it means like if the the uh, the bottle suggested use uh, you know one cup for four liter i generally use one cup for 16 liters so that's the one fourth of the strength so it just needs a bit of a, a fertilizer to uh, basically grow the uh, 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 you know plant uh, healthy and also uh, you know strengthen the roots and the stem and last but not least even the tomato you know seedlings are leggy don't worry you can plant them until the neck so they all get roots until you know wherever the the soil touches them so that's about the tomatoes thank you for watching my videos